This over here looks like a NAS, but it's not a NAS. It gives you the capabilities of a NAS. It will improve your NAS, but it's not a NAS. So what is it then? Well, let's find out. Looking for a cheap way to license your Windows? Check out WhoKeys through the links in the video description. Make sure to use the code TN20 to get a 30% off. Paste the license to the activation settings and you're all done. This license is for Windows 10, but you can upgrade it to Windows 11 for free. They also offer Microsoft Office 19 license. Use the same code TN20 to get a 30% off. Check out WhoKeys.com in the video description below. First, the reason for buying this was actually Actually, my NAS is full, right? There's only a few terabytes left of storage. Shall I buy more big new hard drives? What, what shall I do? You know, shall I buy a new NAS, secondary NAS? Because everything costs quite a lot when it gets to a NAS. But then I found out that my NAS company, uh, Asuster, actually does these things here, which are basically NAS expansion units, which means that with your current NAS, you can just add another box to your NAS with much, much cheaper than what a NAS would be. You can just expand the storage of your NAS because I already have some hard drives laying around and some of the older footage that I'm perhaps not so bothered about, I could still kind of store them in here without running a RAID. For example, I've got three 8 terabyte hard drives here. The two of these I'm going to run in RAID. These are the Iron Wolf NAS drives, eight terabyte ones, and then there's one Toshiba NAS eight terabyte drive. Um, so this I'm gonna run on its own and that kind of the footage that I'm least bothered about, I'm gonna just drop in there. As you can see, it looks kind of exactly like a NAS. You'd have, you have these, you know, hard drive bays in here. You've got a power button. You don't have a USB port in the front here that you'd have on a previous one. And then in the back, you basically have a power plug and a USB port. So this is a 10 gigabit USB port, and this port will connect to your main NAS. And then the NAS kind of, they communicate with each other kind of via USB. It's 10 gigabit speed, but your NAS will still be 2.5 gigabits. So this will not be the bottleneck of your NAS system, but you can easily expand the NAS, which I'm quite happy about. So here's the power plug, 90 watts. Oh, quite a bit. The USB cable a CD with something on, and then an installation guide. Interestingly, the installation guide here is for a NAS, not for this expansion unit, but it should be quite self-explanatory. So let's slot these hard drives in and then see what happens. I'm gonna leave the last one empty, so if I want to add another hard drive or just pop something in there, and then push them in, um, you know, to read a hard drive or something like that, and I don't need, or, you know, in a PC, you'd have to have a SATA cable and then a power cable, and it's quite faffy, but in here, you literally pop it in there and then slot it in. Now, Asuster, I do wish there was a quick release or quick access to these um, kind of hard drives, so perhaps something that you can pop in and pop out that would clip the hard drive in so I don't have to actually screw and it will be toolless installation because that would really mean hot swap because these are hot swappable really. So I can have something here, put it in, even if it's all working, they're all hot swappable. What I'll do now is just go behind my camera, slot it in and then we'll look at if the NAS will show up. Okay, I've got my NAS now from the web interface, web UI, you know, NAS is open here. And if we go to storage manager, I think, there we go. Look at that, there it is. Straight away recognized, plug and play pretty much. I can see three drive drives are installed there and um, two of them I'm gonna run in RAID one and then this one will be nothing. So let's have a look, create, I'm gonna go RAID 1, I'm gonna go next, we're gonna select these two drives there, spare drive, nope, we're just gonna go that one, okay, XT4, okay, finish, okay, look, for some reason volume 25, it's obviously creating that RAID 1 now, synchronizing 0.02, is done now. We're gonna create another one, advanced, next, single, next, we're gonna take that Toshiba drive as well, next, XT4, 
Okay, as you can see, this one is already done, but the volume 25 is still synchronizing. So if we go to, we're gonna name this here as old. Okay, it will be volume 26. I'm gonna put this Nore single eight bit uh, Toshiba. Read and write for all users. Next. Finish. Okay, there we go. So I've got all of these here. I could actually take some of these only 2.27 terabytes. Okay. Let it move all of these drives across to there. It's going to take a few, few minutes there. But basically this now is, is working. I can move some of the files across, which is, which is good. And there we go. It just works. So if you're looking to expand perhaps already your Asus or NAS and you want to, you know, keep the price down because this one costs, I think, less than half of the actual like four bay NAS um, cost. So you can easily add another four bays. And in fact, you can add two of these. So you can make your four bay into a 12 bay by just adding these USB expansion units to them because the main NAS unit will have two USB ports in the back. So you can just connect them into there and then you can have 12 bays and then loads of hard drive space, basically. It's just a cheap way of expanding your NAS storage if you don't want to buy a new NAS. And there we go. It's simple as that. If you want to pick it up, I'm going to leave it in the description below. And if you do want to build yourself best bank for what create a PC, then check out the links in the description below. There is a video for you, whatever your budget is, it's all down there. By the way, now I've seen that the prices have slightly fallen and you can get those PCs even cheaper because the prices have fallen, which is good news, I guess, right? Okay, bye-bye.